Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another unboxing video for you today. And here is the item I will be unboxing. As you can see, it's a fairly thin envelope here. This comes from a company called Playtronica and they have some interesting little creations. And this one, I haven't opened it yet, but supposedly in this, in this uh, particular envelope is something called the Touch Me, which is a bioelectric MIDI controller. So that sounds like something that would be right up, up my alley, huh? Let's go ahead and get this open. And why I'm opening this, um, you know, I am into bioelectrics if you're a subscriber to the channel and stuff. I've done, uh, I built sort of a little Eurorack uh, skiff that um, is designed for bioelectric. And I even uh, hiked it into a Texas State Park and, and did a composition with a plant. And uh, I've used it in various uh, other um, things as well. So here we go. This is, as we can see, this is called the Touch Me. And uh, let's go ahead and get this open. Hello friend, it says. So we've got, oh, we've got some stickers. Stickers here. This looks like a couple of uh, alligator clip type cables. And then we've got, this is our Touch Me. Another sticker. and our USB cable, and that appears to be it. So in the box, we got our USB cable, we got our alligator clips, we got some stickers, and the little pamphlet, and of course, our touch me. These little um, holes here are what actually facilitates using the alligator clips. So you can clip an alligator, oop, maybe, there we go. You can clip an alligator clip there, and then you can clip the other end to something, you know, that you want to interact with. You can see there's all kinds of little surface mount components here. There's a microcontroller on the back. Um, pretty straightforward. So there we go. Um, one thing I'm noticing right now, the only I.O. I see is that little USB, micro USB or mini USB, whichever one that is, uh, port. And that's it. I don't see any sort of other way to get data in or off this thing. So that might be sort of limiting, but let's go ahead and uh, plug it in and see what it'll do.
Okay, so that was a brief overview demo of the Touch Me. So one thing that you noticed uh, is that the instructions tell you to plug it into your computer. You can use a tablet or a smartphone as well, but to plug it into whatever your device is and then go to their website, which you can basically send MIDI into the, into the browser and then via the browser actually interact with an online synthesizer. Now, while that makes it really simple, um, I think that also makes it extremely limiting uh, because my first thought with this is I could take this out into the field with me when I do like some of my bioelectric videos where I've got the bioelectric Euro rack and I can, you know, power it off of, a, off of a USB power bank and take it out in the middle of nowhere. Well, now I have to bring a laptop along with me if I want to do it with this. So... That is extremely limiting, and to be honest, I think that's going to prevent it from being useful to an actual musician. Um, don't mean for that to sound harsh, but a musician does not want to have USB be the only I.O. for something like this. Now, let me show kind of a, um, a different implementation. This here is the Ether. Um, similar kind of thing where it's a very oversimplified sort of product. But if you look here, I'm going to go ahead and pull these cables out. It's got the USB IO, but it also has a TRS that where you can do a standard MIDI breakout here. So even though this can work the exact same way as everything that's in the touch me, it can also be used directly with any instrument. Now, if they had just done that and put a little TRS port right next to this, so that you could get IO um, in that way, this would suddenly become way, way, way more useful. So I do wanna say that I really think this is a great idea. I love the concept and I absolutely love how they included, you know, the alligator clip so that you can interact with it in that way. Again, concept A+, let's just get a version two now that makes it a lot more useful to musicians. And I think a lot of people would pick one of these up. So there you go. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.